right, so some folks were interested in finding out how I refill my Retro 51 Rollerball with fountain pen ink instead of having to buy lots and lots of these refills. So um, just really briefly, I've been using um, fountain pen ink to refill one of these refills continuously over and over for about the last six or eight months or so. I haven't kept a super sharp track of it, but I haven't had any cloggings, drying out, anything like that. Uh, it's been working really, really well. So let me show you how I do it. Um, first off, the, well, let me show you in parts and then I'll, I'll do the process. But inside this cap um, is what looks a bit like a sponge. It's, uh, I guess, kind of a fiberglass felt at a guess. Um, I, I have the pieces here, but underneath this metal tube here, you have the following parts. You have the cap on the end, which is what you'll need to remove. You'll have this felt sponge, which has a plastic outer and then the uh, fibrous inner. And then this sits over another little piece of felt that sits inside of the rollerball tip. And then you have the tip itself, which you know what that is and familiar with that. So uh, if you're changing inks and you're not just refilling, what you're going to want to do is take this cap off the tube with some tweezers, pull this out, pull this end off the other end of the tube, pull this guy out as well, and then wash this guy, this guy, and the point all in water really, really well. Get as much of the ink out as you can. Um, sometimes inks don't mix well together. Um, and then you can go ahead and put this felt piece back into the tip all the way until it interacts with the roller ball again. And then that you can put back on the metal tube so it looks just like that again, all right? After that, you'll wanna keep this over your bottle of ink. Ideally, have a pipette or something to fill it with. And then you're gonna take your ink Put your pipette in the ink, refill it up until this starts to drip ink back through the bottom. You don't want to throw this in the tube and then fill the tube up because then you, you're susceptible to leaks. If you just fill up this part until it's starting to drip out ink again on its own from the bottom, it's the perfect amount, all right? So it's not yet, my, my pen isn't, fully dry yet this refill so I, it's not going to be the the full song and dance for you but i do want to show you how i do it so uh let's add some additional ink here i'm not going to take the time to um to do the washing out and everything because i'm keeping the same ink um just for those who are interested this is manhattan blue from new from uh, noodlers comes from the Fountain Pen Hospital in New York. It's an exclusive to them. I love this ink. Um, this has been like my go-to ink for most of my writing. It's a beautiful blue-black. But anywho, um, this guy can be a bit tough to take off at first. So you may need a razor blade or a hemostat or something like that to take him off. Um, for later times, like now, I'm just able to get it off with my fingernail. So a little bit of a mess, but... Hey, we're used to that. Let me get my tweezers here. All right, so I'm gonna go in. Sorry, I'm left-handed, so I'm switching hands here. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna fetch that fiber tube. And you can see when it's full of ink, it is a nice dark color. And it'll turn that color for you. When, the, when, when this guy, is full of ink it you can't see the white anymore so i'm going to pull this out lay that down for just a moment 
open up my bottle of ink. And I don't know how empty or full this is, we're about to find out. But I'm just going to keep it over the bottle for when it does drip. I'm just going to add a drop at a time to the top. Hopefully you can see that. And it'll suck it up. Sorry if this gets a little shaky. I, the camera is on the tabletop and I do have... I did have some coffee just a few minutes ago, so a little bit of shaky hand. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to add it a drop at a time until I see ink starting to come out the bottom. There we go. See it's starting to come out the bottom. And that's all I'm going to add. I finish right there. I'm going to take my tube, put the felt in the tube, wipe my hands off just a bit, and I'm going to use my tweezers to make sure there we go. I really want to make sure that this felt is inserted all the way on top of that little feed. So that way the ink all gets all the way to the roller ball. All right, so that done. I put the cap back on and the cap on to my ink so I don't spill that guy. Throw this guy back in. Close her up, and for a quick little writing sample here, Bob's your uncle. Uh, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know, but uh, just a quick little demo there. Bye.